So this month I turn 25 years old and it's no secret that I like to celebrate. I like to celebrate birthdays, holidays, milestones. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know that because I'm constantly writing over there and doing posts about various business milestones that I'm celebrating because I believe people don't celebrate enough, especially in New Zealand. We have this sort of tall poppy syndrome where people who like celebrate their successes and like do really well are kind of like almost looked down on. And I believe those, especially who are self-employed and young entrepreneurs should be celebrating. And today we're celebrating in the form of a handbag. <laughs> I decided I wanted to buy myself a handbag for my birthday and it's not quite my birthday yet, but I found this bag on the Saks website on such a good sale, I could not resist. And it said it was low in stock. So I was like, basically like must order right now. It's kind of funny though, because I looked at a bag very similar to this in December that was on sale at David Jones, which is a similar kind of department store we have in New Zealand. And it was over double the price. So even though I had to pay, I think I paid $30 for shipping and $40 for tax and importing fees, I still ended up saving so much money. So I'd highly recommend that to anyone from New Zealand or even Australia who's watching this um, to go look on some of those US websites and check out their sales. But without further ado, let's get into this package. I'm so excited. Slightly disappointing, it's all just wrapped in um, plastic there, not very environmentally friendly. And also, I do like it when I buy my nice designer bags and they come with a dust bag. A special gift for customers of Saks Fifth Avenue, a $100 wine voucher. Delivery included. <laughs> Does that include delivery to New Zealand? I probably don't think so. That's a bit of a waste on me. Ooh, so many vouchers and things. Ah, oh, HelloFresh, 13 free meals. Oh my gosh, I thought my first box was a bargain. This is so American, there's all these promotional things for wine and HelloFresh in my box for my handbag. <laughs> this is so exciting! You can see the color. <laughs> let's get all this packaging off and let's talk more about this bag. So much packaging. At least I know it like hasn't got damaged in <laughs> its travel to New Zealand. Okay, after a slight interruption of my new foster dog deciding to chew on a fake plant, we have sorted it out with a treat while I film. Um, we have unboxed or unpackaged the bag. It is free from all of its plastic. And looking at it, I can only describe it as the handbag 13 year old Ellen definitely would have bought. It is very girly, very cutesy. It has a very early 2000s kind of look to it, I feel. But without any further comment, this is my new handbag. <laughs> oh my god, it's so pink. These tra straps are being folded up quite a bit, so they'll need um, bending out. But this is the Coach Tabby bag. I've got a little shoulder strap here, and obviously a crossbody. You can also use it as a clutch. I am freaking in love. Let's let's talk about the story of this bag and how I found it. So it's been over a year since I purchased a new designer bag. So I've been looking around um, for a new one, but I didn't want to get anything crazy expensive. So I was looking for something on a deal. You know, last year I got my Givenchy bag and that was quite a big investment. Um, year before that, I got a Strathberry bag. Year before that, I think it might have been my Louis Vuitton then. Might have been my Louis Vuitton or my Bulgari bag. But anyway, I had been in David Jones over Christmas time and had looked at their coach bags. And I think coach was a brand that became very outdated in the past five years. It wasn't necessarily a cool brand. And then over the past five years, they've really spent a, lot, spent a lot of time building up the brand again. They've done collaborations with Selena Gomez and all these cool celebrities. And they've kind of gone back to the roots of their very like classic shapes and classic like C logo. But they've also updated some of those classics to give it a more modern feel. And I've been seeing a lot of UK bloggers in the past year or two wearing and promoting coach and it you know the advertising worked okay <laughs> all of the bloggers who were like coach are having to come back i like coach and i was like eh um it finally wore me down and i now have a coach bag <laughs> 
obviously coach is a little more affordable so i probably wouldn't put it in the like luxury designer category it's not you know on par with like louis vuitton or chanel or dior but it's up there it's definitely what i would call still a designer brand because your average person isn't going to go spend 200 300 400 500 up to 700 dollars on a handbag and that is the price range for coach can we just appreciate that yesterday i went and got my nails done to match my handbag for this video <laughs> <laughs> I really like pink if you couldn't tell but anyway I as I said own a Louis Vuitton it is a speedy in the Damier print and I've had a discussion with a lot of my friends who invest or like investing and purchasing designer items and we've seen a real like downfall in the quality of Louis Vuitton and I think this is very similar across a lot of luxury brands you're paying a very hefty price tag and you're paying that for the brand the label um the reputation but i also when i pay a thousand dollars two thousand dollars for a bag i want it to last forever and unfortunately for me i still love louis vuitton i can see myself buying another bag from there eventually but i also just wanted to explore some other brands so i love the quality of strathberry that is beautiful and i really want another strathberry as well but unfortunately there was one on sale at david jones and i missed it and that was when i really started looking into coach because i kind of think it as similar slightly above michael kors like michael kors is another a, what I would call a designer brand but not a luxury brand because it's not you know two thousand dollars for a bag but I have a Michael Kors bag that I've had since my first year first summer of uni when I worked across at um, Smith & Coe's another department store in New Zealand and I saved up all my summer earnings put a whole bunch of savings and then I got a secondhand Michael Kors so that would have been six years ago now and that bag still looks impeccable it looks brand new and I love that I love that I've bought an expensive handbag and it's actually lasting the length of time whereas my Louis Vuitton still looks beautiful but the hardware really starts to tarnish and scratch really easily so I wanted to see um, the quality of coach and I did a little bit of research watched quite a few videos and a lot of people talked about how the leather was actually really beautiful really nice really good quality um, this bag they kind of described it's got a bit of stuffing in it um, but they described it as kind of like a little bit squishy a little bit malleable 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 I don't know how to say that word <laughs> but still relatively um, structured you can see it's got a really nice design there if I move the tag um, this kind of it's got that structured um, base when I looked online I was looking at the black one and the brown one you know something a little more neutral something I can wear with everything and then I saw the pink one and obviously this color isn't for everyone because it was on like 50% off or maybe even 60 I can't remember I think it was 240 New Zealand dollars and then full price or one of the other colors was 500 and then another color I saw I'm not sure if it was slightly bigger but that was $700 and the ones I'd seen on sale in New Zealand were 550 to $600 so this to me was a complete bargain so I completely cashed in on the fact that a lot of people think this is a hideous color and not many people would wear it but I love pink this is just me as I said 13 year old Ellen would be absolutely stoked with this bag I love that it's got like a little bit of a, a vintage um early 2000s vibe I'm not really like back on the 2000s trend because I feel like it's too close like I don't understand why that's come back into trend when I'm like it, we, we just had the 2000s hold up people but this bag shape is definitely something that I can get on board with so let's just open it up quick and I'll show you guys the interiors for those who are interested it has such a nice magnet oh my gosh look at the interior shade of this bag guys this is where you see me geek out about the smallest details of a handbag look at that it's like a a very deep wine almost burgundy but a little more purple than burgundy all of the hardware is also beautiful um, I've got to take this plastic tag off but I don't have scissors love coaches little like tags like this they put on as well okay let's take all the stuffing out of here okay my camera just cut out there guys sorry about that but I just found there was a little dust bag inside so I'm very excited about that I can pop that onto my shelf to protect the bag oh it's so beautiful okay we have taken all the stuffing out this is what the inside of the bag um, looks like so it's got two pockets one zip pocket and then this bit at the front and then this little slot at the back as well 
If you guys are interested in this bag, I'm gonna link a whole bunch of the other colors that I saw on sale on the Saks website and maybe on like Nordstrom or wherever. Um, so you guys can go check out this bag. It came in so many colors. There was like a mustard yellow and like a really beautiful burgundy color as well. Um, and I'd highly recommend it, even if you can't get it on the massive clearance price that I seem to have scored on this pink version. Um, but yeah, I think this is gonna be a very well-loved bag. Let's quickly see what we can fit inside it. I've just been around my house and collected up a whole bunch of things to put in my handbag because I am actually going to Auckland tomorrow. Um, I'm filming this quite randomly. We still have like two more videos to upload. So this will probably go up like towards actually my birthday at the end of the month. Uh, but I'm filming it now because I wanted to obviously open my bag. I can technically fit my um, reading glasses case in there. It doesn't leave too much room so to be honest probably wear those on the plane and pack the case in my carry-on let's see what else we can fit in here okay we've got wallet in there we're gonna put my wireless headphones my keys um, i'm not gonna be taking my car with me but I figured i should take my keys it's got my parents house key on there as well got a little scrunchie can't even remember where that's from <laughs> Super fun thing, I should actually put this at the bottom. My EpiPen, because if you didn't know, I'm allergic to peanuts. <laughs> Another pair of backup headphones. Oh, I love it. Okay, because of that like three compartment type thing, the strip down the middle, does kind of limit what you can put in there. You can't put in a huge amount. The last thing that I had that I can't really fit are uh, my sunglasses. Um, which I'm sure I could take some gauss out and fit them in but it's definitely more of probably like a night bag an evening bag or if you're just going out for like lunch out to the shops somewhere where you don't need to bring a lot of stuff um, this can be really good but I think it is a very cute little purse and I'm very happy with it and my nails that match <laughs> I'm probably gonna end this video here because I've spent a very long time talking about one handbag, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you did, it really helps me out with getting my video out there in the YouTube algorithm and more people see my content. And yeah, links down below if you are interested in picking up this bag yourself and remember all the, you know, slightly classier, less teenage colors that it comes in. Let me know if you have any video requests, anything you would like to see in the comment section down below. Would love to hear if you guys have your eye on any sort of handbag. Would love to hear your thoughts on coach and the quality and the price. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye.